tonight on Hip Games on the Spot News. The Mariana Islands, the next free map for DCS World. We take a deep dive on what to expect in the nearby future, trying to measure and figure out the size of the thing. I mean, the map, of course. We get up in the air and look out for all the points of interest ourselves, because we can. And we check out each individual airport, active or abandoned. Be on the lookout. The Mariana Islands are just around the corner, and the Pacific is waiting for action. Here at Hip Games. Hello Virtual Pilots! It seems that many of our fellow DCS community pilots do not know about the next feature map by Eagle Dynamics for DCS World. Coming in the second quarter this year, the map will initially be a 400 by 400 km area with the option to expand further in the future. According to the information we have available today, we estimate that the map will look something like this at start. Knowing that it should expand from south of Guam to far along the Medinila, small island in the north. With this new map, Eagle Dynamics explained that they want to provide a very different combat environment in a new part of the world. The map will have the following features. A very large ocean area with a few islands, ideal for carrier operations. Islands that are situated such that airfields have natural red, blue and contested locations. Home to at least one modern-day US Air Force base, feasible for US, Russia and China operations in the Pacific, taking advantage of the Chinese assets pack. So let's take a deep dive into each location using the help of Google Earth and Microsoft Flight Simulator, where we did a few flights in order to visualize how it would feel in DCS once we get our hands on the map. Keeping in mind that in March this year, we should also get the new volumetric cloud tech for DCS World. We will fly the G91 with a US Army livery. I did a first look for this particular aircraft in a previous video. Be advised, we are entering a spoiler environment. We will start in Guam, an organized, unincorporated territory of the United States in Micronesia subregion of the Western Pacific Ocean. It is the westernmost point and territory of the United States. Guam is home of the famous Anderson Air Force Base, the most important US air base west of Hawaii. It is the only base in the Western Pacific that can permanently service US heavy strategic bombers. Anderson Air Force Base was established on the 3rd of December 1944 and is named for Brigadier General James Roy Anderson. The base played important roles throughout history. In the Second World War, in the 1950s hostilities in Korea, the Vietnam War and in 1994 post-Cold War. The base was one of the few places in the world where the NASA Space Shuttle was permitted to land, serving as an augmented emergency landing site for the shuttle orbiter. Northwest of Anderson Air Force Base, we have the weapon storage bunkers. And further to the northwest coast, there is an abandoned airfield. As we head south along the western bank, we can see the antenna array installation. And almost in the center of the island, we have the Antonio B1 Pat International Airport. Moving along the western shores, we will find the US Naval Station and Guam Port Authority at Aprahabor, Sumai. And also the abandoned Orote Airfield at Krot Point. The Ordnance Annex in South Central next to Santa Rita, easy to locate by looking for the Fena Valley Reservoir. The island has many urban areas and also two forts, the Fort Soledad and Fort Juan Muna. After our flight around Guam, we land and return the next day for our next mission visiting the other islands. Next stop is the island of Rota at a 3 minute flight with our current speed. Rota is also known as the Friendly Island. It is the southernmost island of the United States Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. Sinapalo village is the largest and most populated, followed by Songsong village. 
Rota International Airport, which sadly is not represented in the default Microsoft Flight Simulator at this time, but as I found later, a user managed to build the airport as a free scenario available for download. There is a golf course on the northwest coast of the island and an abandoned weapon storage area on the east end. Now, as we head on from Rota, we'll take a bit longer to reach our next destination called Aguiyan, a small bean-shaped coralline island. It is situated 8 kilometers southwest of Tinian, from which it's separated by the Tinian Channel. Aguiyan and neighboring Tinian Island together form Tinian Municipality, one of the four main political divisions that comprise the Northern Marianas. And just next door is Tinian. After the end of World War II, Tinian became part of the trust territory of the Pacific Islands, controlled by the United States. The island continues to be dominated by the United States military, and until 1962 was administered as a sub-district of Saipan. Since 1978, the island has been a municipality of the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, with Tinian International Airport, two large urban areas, the antenna array along the central west coast of the island, and the abandoned airfield on the north end of the island which looks properly abandoned in Microsoft Flight Simulator as well. Next is Saipan, the largest island of the Northern Mariana Islands, a commonwealth of the United States in the Western Pacific Ocean. With Saipan International Airport, Port of Puerto Rico, lots of urban centers and golf courses along the eastern coast. Now after leaving Saipan, our last destination is not that easy to find, and you need to plan ahead along with the weather and fuel quantities in order to reach it and RTB safely. Its name, if I hopefully pronounce it correctly, is Faralon de Medinila, an uninhabited island in the north of Saipan, at 45 nautical miles away, and is the smallest island in the archipelago. For years, the US Navy has used the island for military and bombing exercises. In a 2002 lawsuit, the Center for Biological Diversity charged the Navy with the destruction of wildlife habitat on the island. A subsequent court ruling ordered the US Defense Department to cease bombing exercises on the island until they came in compliance with the Migratory Birds Treaty Act. Well, that's in real life. As you may guess, in the simulator you can continue your bomb practice free of any regulations. Now that we gaze upon the territory that will be released with the first iteration of the Mariana Islands, Let's keep in mind that there are talks of expansion in the future, same as the Syria map will be expanded to the west adding more airfields including Cyprus Island. Fans of the show will know that we talked about this in a previous video. Another thing to keep in mind is that the current island chain also serves as a backdrop for the World War II battles of Guam, Saipan and Rota, as well as the carrier vs carrier Mariana Islands battle. So that's great news for our World War II enthusiasts, even though the first backdrop of the map will be modern. We can only wait and see what's hidden under Eagle Dynamics sleeves later on in the future. And fitting perfectly in the World War II Pacific Theater will be the long-awaited F4U Corsair being developed by Leatherneck Simulations. The Corsair was designed and operated as a carrier-based aircraft and entered service in a large number with the US Navy in late 1944 and early 1945. It quickly became one of the most capable carrier-based fighter bombers of World War II. We still do not know surely when we will get our hands on the Corsair, but fingers crossed, as the Mariana Islands are just around the corner, maybe Leatherneck Simulation will be too. But as the saying goes, it will be done when it will be done. We are planning a live event on Twitch later this week to do more flights around the Mariana Islands in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Feel free to pop by and say hi. Link is in the video description as well as our Discord and Facebook page. Remember to hit the like button as it helps the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you want to be in touch with the latest information on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.